Yo, lifestyle. I don't know. I kind of like the weather, you see me? So, I'm actually on my way to Dover right now to go and get some footage on Doug Gore's machine because they're doing some testing and stuff like that on it and fine tuning the. Oh fine-tuning the suspension and upgrading some parts and stuff on it so yeah I just decided to like give you guys a quick shot of up here in the hills you know on the way to, to Dover yo it's a nice vibe the weather feeling good kind of nippy in a certain way but anyways peeps we're heading to Dover now so let's go yes lifestyle so no all of us hoping and waiting on the world to open up back so we can get back to motorsports because trust me i'm sure a lot of people out there feeding for some motorsports action but right now try my best to bring it to y'all and um ensure that you guys are covered from every angle so you know we got a little bit of drag racing in it a little bit of you know shunting slash drifting and now we're gonna get some circuit in it so you don't know how it go from yeah lifestyle so yo we're just getting to dog's camp now i'm gonna see what's happening behind the scenes see what the updates are and get some full scoops from dog himself and the team is me all right so lifestyle we're finally getting to catch up with hollywood what's going on well we got andres here from omse yeah. they're the winningest rallycross team in the world uh, after introducing myself to them last year and they came down and Help me sort out the car. This car actually went up to, to their factory. Nice. Was totally redone and came down. And boy, we, we saw just what a phenomenal change that they had done to the car. Uh, they have come down, back down to Jamaica now. They had a few little tricks up their sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. Some new technology that had come out within the world of motorsports. They wanted to install them on the car, which is what they did. They're basically now getting it to, to balance. And uh, when, when it does, I mean, Every time he gets out of the car, he's all smiles and yeah. of course, if there's a smile on his face, there's a smile on mine. Right. So really looking forward to see this car complete and uh, you know, they're here for, for two weeks. So they said that don't worry, we're going to get the car finished so that 2021 this car will be the winning car for, for all in. Right. To end the radical affair. <laughs> and the radical affair. That's right. How are you doing? How are you feeling to be a part of the Jamaican culture and you know helping Doug out with his car and stuff like that? That's good. I mean, I like it. We're, we're trying to get this car to, to, to uh, as he said, be rightly balanced. Yeah. There is a few things that we're trying to do. I'm trying to get. I'm working hard to get the car to do what I want to do on a track like this. And if we can manage to do that. It will be much faster and the car will be much easier to drive as well. And that's yeah. two things that, that I think goes hand in hand. Right. And also, Doug was telling me about the new technology that you're bringing to the game. How does it work? Yeah, we're trying to basically be building two engines out of one turbo engine and one engine. So we're trying to spool the turbo up so okay. we get a less anti leg. The anti leg is much, much harder. So it's. It's, it's new uh, in, a, in a way that we can build it on this car as well. Yeah. It's a very um, advanced system, but it, it seems to work fine. So we, we're tuning it in now. Nice. This is something new that we haven't tried on this car before. We've done it on other cars. Actually, so we think it will work. I actually drove an hour and a half away to come and meet you and see you guys at work. And I can say you're really putting it down on the track. <laughs> 
you've been on many terrains. How does how does the Jamaican track feel? Is it scary? Nah, it's okay. I mean, I, I've been <laughs> I've done the track a few laps now. I like the track, but obviously you have a wall if you, if you do a mistake. You yeah. know, it's not there's no excuse. It's, it's home and, and repair. Yeah. So uh, no, it's, it's I like it. It's I, I think the scary part here is actually the road getting here. <laughs> so yeah, that's nice. I like that one. We love, we love when the international people come to Jamaica and be a part of our motorsports. You know, and welcome to Jamaica. Thank you so much. So how are you feeling though? Well, every time the car goes out and every time I see that car shoot down the, the straight away, one of the things that we can definitely see, I mean, if anybody saw my Instagram page yesterday, you could actually see that this car so many times would actually get completely sideways, get out of control yeah. and actually get right back into control, which was huge. I just saw it a while ago. Yeah, uh, and I mean, it, that is what is complimenting to this car is that at no point am I going to now go and say, oh, sh moment yeah. and not be able to get back out of it. Right. So, he's, as I said, it's a fine line with what they're building here now. And, you know, to be honest with you, and he even said it yesterday, if we can get this car tracking and go on the track really, really fast in the wet, can you imagine what this car is going to be on the dry? I mean, this car is going to be phenomenal. He already told me they're getting up to 185, 190 kilometers an hour in the rain. Yeah. And I mean, that is like unheard of. So, <laughs> I can tell you. And he, he, if you ever notice how late he's braking on, on the straightaway, and yeah. that's again in the rain. Can you imagine when this truck is dry, what this car is going to do? I mean, and, boy, the front, you. and you haven't touched it as yet. And no. This is your little baby, you know. So yes. Remember, you were with it different. But one of the things is that this team, they come here, they sort out the car, and he knows my driving style. He's been watching me also. Right. And basically, when he's finished, he's going to basically hand me the keys to the car and say, no, the car is 100%, go here and do your thing. Um, separate and apart from the um, the engine, are you, is he helping to tune a little bit of the suspension as well? Oh yes, I mean they're doing everything on this car uh, from top to bottom and even a while ago they were just dialing the suspension just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, they, if you notice that sometimes he actually goes on the curbs and I said to him, I said why are you doing that? And he says no, I must do it that if you ever have a situation where you're going to hit a curb and the car can now land and go back on the four wheels. Yeah. I know that it's not going to want to spin around with you, it's, not, it's going to react properly. I said, I'm testing everything. I'm making sure that once you get out there, don't care what the condition is, this car is going to be 100% ready to go. Doug, I must say to you that we respect your dedication to motorsports. You know? Thank you, thank you. Trust me. And of course, the dedication to this car because you know I've had a lot of naysayers. Everybody has told me, no, go out and get a radical. Uh, well, I think I know your brother owns one, but I can yeah. tell you, my fans, they all just wanted something different. And if you saw the last race meet at Dover, where when this car came out to the start line, I mean, I don't care if you were a Kyle Gregg, a William Miles, you know, a Dwight Lou fan, everybody was cheering and this car came out on the grid. Definitely. So, you know, the, we, we need something like this. We need more of the, the different, different cars. It's called there. diversification. Absolutely. All of us can be running the same. No, 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 it gets like a boring. Definitely. Yeah. But if you notice how even the, the way that this car sounds, yeah. my goodness gracious. It sounds way different than the last yeah. time I heard it. And it sounds nasty. So, like that little sticker on the back where it says the beast. Yeah. yeah and the beast has awoken. <laughs> and separate, separate and apart from that, I like the, 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 the tribute to Mikey Spice and D Bell as well. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Yeah, man, we're doing this for them. Zero stuff. Yeah. Alright, Doug, well, I went to check some behind the scene footage and then, you know, when just to the natural organic blog. Alright. And Hope thanks for inviting us. Thank again. you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, man. Alright, that's uh, so. You guys caught up with them and Doug and his team is work, work, working very hard to making this happen. So we have a film crew here as well. Yo yo! yo, yo. Big up! Yeah. It's a good vibe. We have Mad March. Big up! Vlog for vlog. Well, cinematic for vlog. And um, actually we'll get the interview with this um, youngster here. Hi, I'm Oliver Eriksson, I'm 22 years old, I'm from Sweden and I'm a professional rugby fan. Red Bull Athlete since 2016. How is it feeling to be a part of such a company like Red Bull that's so high adrenaline and all that type of great stuff? Yeah, it is great, you know, it's, it's a big company, a lot of history in, in motorsport and sports general, so for them to put the effort and time into 
helping my career out. It's, it's, a, it's a real privilege for sure. And also you know, it's really fun uh, making content with them and really racing for them. Andreas is my father. Uh, okay. so, yeah, and uh, yeah, he, he would come here with Doug um, to help him set the car. And uh, yeah, teammates with Fraser back in Europe, uh, yeah. Fraser McConnell. So he's been he's been only for two years now, and, uh, wanting me to come to Jamaica. So it was perfect timing to to come here. And so yeah, uh, I booked the kids together with that, and uh, yeah, we came here. Yeah, this is awesome. You said teammates with Jamaica and Fraser McConnell, right? Yeah. You yeah. did the rallycross in Sweden, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's Europe. amazing. What what's, what's the motorsport vibe like over there? <laughs> yeah, in, uh, like in Europe generally, I race uh, mostly in Europe and in the world rallycross. Uh, it's, it's, it's big history there uh, yeah. in rallycross. Uh, it's very new to, to Jamaica, I feel, and uh, to the Eastern world generally. Uh, we have been a lot more uh, history in Europe. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been growing up with the sport, learning how to make the best of everything in a rallycross car. So I kind of have that, that momentum for my driving style going. So, and then Fraser came in, you know, he's been here in Dover racing, circuit racing, also doing rally Jamaica and so on. So he had a good set for both sides and we came in, we, uh, yeah, we made team, yeah, he came into our current team. And, uh, We've been there for the last two seasons, we've done the Oryx 2 World Championship together. Yeah. Uh, went really well, uh, both of us finished the uh, podium many races. I won the series eventually and he finished really well also in this, this rookie season. So, but that was a lot of fun and then, yeah, uh, this year we've been racing together in Supercar in the Nordic Series. So, uh, yeah, you know, got to learn Fraser really well, uh, you know. Yeah. We bonded really well, he's one of my best friends now. So I had to finally come here to Jamaica and see where he hangs out, where he grew up in racing and all of his history and family and everything. It's, it's, it's a great privilege to, be, to just be here. Great. Also, these current times, you know, with COVID, to, to make it happen was yeah. a lot of fun. All right, so I mean, you know, just quick fun fact what's your favorite Jamaican food so far? Favorite Jamaican food? We got. Uh, Jerk chicken, I think yeah. it's good. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. And then we got some badass ribs as well. Yeah. Last night, so. Uh, nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out more of the seafood life as well too. So. And I heard, I heard Fraser taught you some words, but I won't, we, we won't say no, that no, on no. this program. <laughs> <laughs> we take them when the cameras off, right? Yeah, yeah, man. All right, bro. Well, nice to catch up with you. It's good to meet you, and you know, yeah. we're glad you're here in Jamaica with us. You know. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I hope to see you guys again. Yeah, you too, right. man. Thank cool. you. Peace. We want to keep everybody in the loop. I seen a bunch of people that came out to support Doug today and you know motorsports in general. So I'm gonna get some um takes from what they're thinking about the car. No, I'm say it is nice for Doug to be here today. Yeah. And if Doug was not here, none of us would do here. Wouldn't done here today. Good vibes. Doug, Doug calls you out here. Good vibes. I've been racing all over for so long till we all forget to go. Mm. But we are learning to over again. Definitely. With a brand new car. <laughs> You got beautiful like too. I see Doug are doing now. Yeah. Me like what I see so far. I need motorsports. We need it back in now. Yeah. Can't wait to live. And you love the program too? Same way. Same way. Big up Fresh Point. Everything good. Everything good. Yeah man. One, one love Ella. See my dupes Ella. Tell me about Ella. Yeah man. We're glad to be here man. Yeah. We are watching you and Doug there to tune up. Ready for Easter weekend to get him beaten. Yeah. Talk to Doug What is it? So who are your driver? You know, there are two drivers I have though. The rocket card, and you know, so we bring Senna already. The rocket so. card, the little chi the Chinese man. Them. Yes, man, do I do, man? How are you talking about, man? I'm full of dupes, man. You know, some of 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 you know, as you can see, the vibes and the energy is good out here. People want motorsports again. And I'm telling you, big up to Doug for inviting me today to be a part of another motorsports capture circuit racing drag racing mandeville is providing the shunting and the drifting mobile as well so we're loving the vibes and hope to get some more footage before i head back to kingston but as you can see it's all fun and jokes and good vibes all right good luck
lifestyle what a run a while ago you guys saw that footage yo i wish i could just like put every angle on that car and up here because the place is so open right now you just you just hear every sound echoing from all over so peeps you don't know respect for tuning in and loving the content that we're bringing on right now we have some mad march right over there so we have a swedish media right here so you see me so what's Yo going on yeah ever. yeah respect respect man yeah man so fams this is a dover that we love and hopefully everything will be up and running again so i'm just gonna go chit chat with doug see what's up see how he's feeling about the car <sighs> mad where's the water yo the man is my heartless me g i don't make it no where's it out Yo, crazy. Yo, man, 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 the, the car coming out of the corner was a little sluggish but boy when it came on pole it was like wow you know it was bam 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 and yeah that looks good for the cameras and everything else but not necessarily for your foot so they went and put on a slightly smaller back housing on the car and uh, he's very happy he's coming out of the car and he loves it so it's just a fine tune the car right now with what they're doing and then of course when they're finished with it then they'll put in the car but uh, I like what I see every time he goes out there and runs it's just going better and better yeah. uh, I see the guy coming up over the row here and boy he is hammering it I mean he's putting on his foot and holding it so as he has rightfully said he said listen if I can make this car go in these conditions here that we have over the weekend yeah. trust me come race there and we have a dry setting this car is going to be absolutely awesome well I can say from my end the car sounds very reliable thank you thank yeah. you very much man and uh, awesome. you don't know any man to Kingston now but Pick up yourself. Nick always the best guy. Thank you very much. Alright, respect. Yo. Yo. Make sure you have something to take them in up. Alright. Safe travel. Alright, yeah man, dog, later. Alright. Yo. Peace out. Yeah, Close out the vlog now. Yo, you have to catch the vlog and watch Dog War with the new the new beast. Not the old beast, the new beast. Out. Out. Wait.